हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजी चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑपरेटर इन सी एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट सो इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल पांडे गुरुजी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल बेल आइकन फॉर द वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एन ऑपरेटर इज ए साइम्बोलिक दैट टेल द कंपाइलर टू परफॉर्म स्पेसिफिक मैथमेटिकल और लॉजिकल फंक्शन C language is uh, rich in built in operator and provide the list type of operator means uh, there are some symbol uh, which is the tell the com uh, compiler to perform a uh, some uh, specific math mathematical or logical operation like if you want to add uh, two number or subtract the two number or division the two number or if you want to increase the two number so we need to assign the some operator to uh, operator you need to write some operator in the um, c language so this type of operation performed by the compiler so there are so many type of operator available in the c language so we will discuss one by one and this uh, uh, operator is very important for the examination point of view and for the practically point of view so you should know the uh, how many type of operator is there and which operator comes under which type of operator like uh, plus operator comes in the which type of the uh, operator like arithmetic or relational or logical so uh, this type of the question came uh, possibility it came to uh, in the examination so first we start with the arithmetic operator uh, arithmetic operator means uh, plus minus multiplication division plus plus minus minus means if you want to add the sum add the sum number and if you want to subtract the number or if you want to increase the number for e each loop means plus plus or minus minus will be used in the uh, while loop or for loop uh, for the increment purpose or decrement purpose so second one is the relational operator relational operator means uh, we need to check the relation it means uh, if the uh, x is equal to y or not or suppose uh, x is equal not equal to z so this type of if you want to check any relational then we can use for equality purpose we need to use uh, equal equal and this operator for not equal greater than less than means any type of the comparison we need to comes under the relational operator third one is logical operator logical operator means uh, uh, and or so if you want to uh, uh, want to check by the logical then uh, this operator will be used uh, fourth one is bitwise operator so bitwise operator work on the bit and perform bit by bit operation uh, example the truth table truth table uh, is the uh, very good example of the uh, bitwise uh, operator next one is a assignment operator assignment operator means we need to assign the sum value to any variable like here uh, c is assigned to the a or a plus b means suppose a having the 10 or b having the 20 then 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 will be assigned with the uh, c so this type of uh, operator uh, if the operator will be used in the assignment operator and there are some other miscellaneous operators also available in C. C. So uh, we will discuss one by one. So first one is size size of means size of uh, return the size of a variable means uh, uh, in the previous video I discussed about the what is the variable means suppose variable uh, assigned uh, means 10 character so uh, how many character is declared for the particular variable so this for this purpose we can use the size of operator and and return the address of a variable uh, means where uh, we can use the end operator so if you want to the address of the any variable then we can use the end operator star is used to a pointer of a variable and question mark question mark is a used for the con conditional expression means uh, if, if, the, in, if the examination uh, question came like uh, 
what is the con conditional expression operator what is the pointer to a variable return the address of a variable then this type of the question uh, uh, you can mark the answer so it, this is a very important for the uh, operator in the C so net, next we will discuss the decision making statement uh, decision making statement uh, uh, structure required that the program specific or more condition to be evaluated or tested by the program along with a statement or a statement to be executed if the condition is determined to be true and op uh, optionally other statement to be executed if the condition determined to be the false means uh, decision making a statement uh, we use suppose if we, if the value of x is equal to 10 then you want to execute the particular statement then you need to use the decision making a statement uh, there is uh, so many decision making a statement in c so we will discuss the one each each by one by one so let's start first one is if a statement an if a statement consists of a boolean expression followed by one or more statement means suppose any statement in the ce having uh, uh, want to execute only if the uh, condition is satisfied suppose if the value of x equal to uh, 10 then you want to execute the particular statement then we need to put if x is equal to, x is equal to 10 then begin you pu can put the a statement so only that a statement will be executed by compiler if the statement is true second one is if else statement if a statement can be followed by an optional else statement which is executed when the boolean expression is false I means suppose x is equal to uh, 10 and uh, you want to execute if the state x value is not 10 or less than 10 or greater than 10 then you can put if x is equal to 10 begin some you put some statement else you put that a statement want to execute so if the statement is false means value is not 10 then else a statement will be executed so third one is a nested if a statement nested which basically used for the uh, if you use one inside another means you can use one if else if a statement inside another if else a statement means you can put one if else a statement is there another if else statement you putting in the body body part so if that type of the if else statement is called the nested so if the nested term we use then uh, uh, we can uh, say that inside the body we nested for loop nested while loop so if within the for loop we can put another for loop within the while loop we can put another while loop so this type of a statement is called the nested statement uh, fourth one is uh, which statement so switch statement allow a variable to be tested for equality again a list of value means uh, need to check the equality if the putting some condition means x equal to 10 y equal to 15 then each type of the value for the statement uh, you can use the switch statement so next one is nested switch statement means uh, you can use the one statement inside the another uh, sw switch statement means uh, i already told you if another same statement you use in the body then we can call co call the nested switch statement so this is the basic uh, fundamental concept of the uh, decision making statement and this is a very important for the examination point of view view or practically point of view if you are working in any organization so thank you for watching this video and if you not subscribe my channel pande guruji please subscribe and press the bell button thank you so much